Hey there guys, Fave here, and today we're going to talk about a really old Roblox feature and my young little Fave experience with it. But before we jump into today's video, we have to do today's challenge. So today's challenge is if you are sitting down or standing up or laying down right now, then smash that like button. And if y'all find a way around this somehow, I'm going to be very, very impressed. But that doesn't matter. Let's talk about the economy. And not in real life, because that'd be kind of tragic. No, but on Roblox on November 21st, 2008. It's the economy. A fabulous new release is upon us. Roblox may never be the same. We have two major features in this release, both relating to the economy. So first, they have the Roblox Currency Exchange. So back when they had a second currency called Tickets, aka Tix, which was an alternate to Robux, there was no way to exchange between Robux and Tix until this day. But that's not the feature we're talking about today. That's a whole other video with a whole other story. No, we're going to talk about advertising user to user advertising so first of all this screenshot's pretty fascinating this is what telemon's roblox page looks like in 2008 this dude had 118,000 robux in 2008 18,000 unread messages this dude was rich and the front page only had a few hundred people in each game when you really think about it adopt me had a million people in it the other day so you know this is kind of crazy but you get the point here this is old roblox old stuff but let's talk about the user to user advertising as chileski showing here this is eric's test actually so rest in peace to eric castle but it says experience the legend plastic men iron blades sword fights on the heights for roblox so this may have been the very first ad ever on roblox now while ads aren't as important in the modern day roblox like for example if i'm to go on roblox you can see these ads on the side. I mean, you see this guy saying new update with a bunch of pictures of someone having 5,000 Robux. Secret service, protect the president. I mean, you know, I see the same ads all the time. People trying to get like Flamingo to play a game or someone advertising their clothing group or their war group or their home store, whatever it is. People always advertise so they can get people in their game. That makes sense. But we have to take it all the way back to when this feature came out. So... User-to-user -user advertising is another feature that we have been planning for over a year. However, we never told you guys about it, so you didn't constantly bug us. Anyway, they're explaining how to advertise the stuff, and... But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into my old ads. What I was doing back then, right? So, let's, without further ado, you get to see Little Fave and his big ads. So, let's scroll down, and let's go ahead and go to 2009. We have... Want to live in Bikini Bottom without lag and more? A random picture of Spongebob. Well, you are going to the right place. First of all, little fave, 6 Kenny 6 you used the wrong your. I do like how you put the year in the bottom right corner, so it's easy for me to tell when I made this ad. So yes, in 2009, little 8-year-old fave had a game on Roblox called Work in Bikini Bottom. And I thought this was the coolest thing on Roblox. I mean, who doesn't want to go to the Bikini Bottom, right? I mean... That's Spongebob. Who doesn't love Spongebob? I mean, you know, here we go. Here's my very professional ad. As you can see, obviously not made in Microsoft Paint. Got the picture of Spongebob. I mean, yeah! I mean, who, who doesn't love Spongebob? It, it works out perfectly. There's nothing wrong with this ad. I see no flaws in it besides the wrong your, I guess. Anyway, over here, we have a very high resolution image of some fireworks. And a very simple question for the whole audience. Do you celebrate Independence Day? Now, first of all, this is a very patriotic ad. As you can see, I clearly put 50 stars in the corner, and the stripes, I don't know, I, you know, they're there, I promise. And then, in a very hard-to-read font, it says, then come here. So, I guess I was celebrating the 4th of July on Roblox. Well, that's cool, I guess. We have this ad. <laughs> it says, do not click. That is clever. Even 8-year-old Fave was trying to bait the kids in by telling them not to click. So, yeah, do not click. Don't do it. Because if you do, I, I don't know what'll happen, but... You know, it's crazy. The thing I was advertising here was this t-shirt from 2007 I made. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to invest ticks into advertising this dumb t-shirt, but... You know, whatever. Six-year-old Faith thought this was a good t-shirt, well... And, you know, eight-year-old Faith thought this was a good idea to advertise this two-year-old shirt, but... Hey, do not click! Anyway, so you have this very high-resolution image of, I guess, an Indiana Jones Roblox figure, and it says, Tired of the same old building places? Epic face. Then try this place. 
You know, I guess I was taking a lot of inspiration from the commercials on TV at the time. Are you tired of do 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 Then do 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 do. It works perfectly, but you know, I could have gotten a higher quality image for this ad. I mean, I could count the pixels on this thing. This is ridiculous. Over here, you have once again another very high quality image of a cool looking Robloxian, and it says, Want to be in my vids? Now it's your chance today. Just take a short interview. Now this one is actually really fascinating to me because in 2009, if you ran an ad telling people that you could be in a video on YouTube, oh, bet those people were coming to your game. I had so many people in my game back then. I remember this stuff. Everyone wanted to be on YouTube. And yes, I was still making videos in 2009. So, you know, I, I don't know. Imagine if I just ran this ad again. Like, I don't know, dude. Over here we have this ad. Like war? Like fighting? Then this is the place for you with a bunch of splats. I don't know who likes war and likes fighting. I mean, wouldn't you end up dying if that if you liked? I don't... But anyway, here we have a Roblox noob head and apparently a bunch of lava jumps that says, do I have to do this? <laughs> I guess that was my attempt at humor back then. Uh, let me know if this ad's funny. Do I have to? Please, don't make me do the obby. I don't want to die again. Wish to go to a classic place from June last year? Noob says, yes, then this is the place for you. Six Kenny, six properties. Yeah, you know, I had to put my name on that because everyone would want to steal this. You know, this is such a, oh man, yeah, yeah, of course people would want to steal this ad. Well, once again, I used the same splat template, but with different text. Wish to be VIP for all of my places? Well, now it's your chance. <laughs> well, that's exciting. Let's see this shirt. VIP shirt for all of my places. Six Kenny Six. Six Kenny Six is admin shirt. Six Kenny Six. I put my name everywhere. I was really just promoting. Well, I got 252 people to buy this, so I guess this was a good VIP shirt. But it, on the description says, Would you like to be a VIP? Sure, buy this. Update September 8th, 2009. There will be a 2010 VIP. I don't know what happened to that, but you got the 09 one here. Works perfectly. <laughs> Wish a tornado didn't hit this place? Well, you can rebuild it. What is this image? I can count the pixels on this. I don't know what it was back then. I really didn't know how image compression works back then because these images are just really low resolution. Microsoft Paint was not treating me well on any of these days at all. I mean, I, I can make out a red teapot maybe on this dude's head. I think this looks like the beach. But why did a tornado hit the beach? That's not that's not fun. Why would we want to rebuild a whole freaking cool area? I don't know, bro, but yeah, let's just keep moving here. So here I have my beautiful drawing of a noob, and it just says, Cheapo. And if we go ahead and look at what I'm advertising, it's a shirt that says, I spent two tickets or Robux. 42 people bought this, and we have comments, but it's a bunch of scams. Hello there, old fave. He is not old. Copied ad. It's two tickets. And the funniest part about this ad is the ad says Cheapo, and a guy named Cheapo commented saying, my name's on the ad. That's the craziest thing ever. I mean, come on now. What are the odds that you put a word in your ad, and that guy's going to reply, XD, Ruffle a Mow, Ducky, Quack. Ad made by 6 Kenny 6 you know, I don't know, the, the quality level of these ads, I just, I don't know how to feel about this. I mean, I feel like this is deeper art on a very deep level. I mean, I was, you know, you go to a museum and you see things like the Mona Lisa or the Starry Night, but here you have what truly is the epitome of just art. Okay, you have, look at the smile on the noob's face. It, it expresses so many feelings of of modern day angst and the way the society was progressing in the year of 2009. And you have the duck here, the beak being a right triangle having a 90 degree angle in this corner truly says a lot about the duck. The way it just quacks at the ducky man. I think it just, the relationship between the noob and the duck is truly portrayed in a beautiful way here and, I, and it almost brings a tear to my little eye, to put it quite lightly. But Without further ado, we have to look at the next thing. Mommy, there are monsters in my closet. No, there isn't. And there's a monster there, I guess. Where is this dude's legs? Where is the rest of this mommy's body? What is going on here? I'm scared. I'm switching ads. 
I wonder who invented noobs. Otherwise, he ish epic. Wow, I'm upgrading my noob drawing skills, I guess, but 6 Kenny 6 ads. I was really into making those ads, huh, back when I was a little 8 year old. These ads are terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> Sup? <laughs> so I guess that's a cool tactic. Like, if, like, you're bored and you're lonely on Roblox, you see some dude telling you sup. I mean, I guess, like, you want to be like, what's up? I mean, he looks so friendly. He's smiling at you. And you got the little 6 Kenny 6 ads there in the corner. I mean, okay, it works. It works. Want to look style? I really couldn't spell the word want. Are you kidding me right now? Bruh. 6 Kenny 6. I want 10 badges. Gold fail award, 2009. Alright, you know what? I, I've had enough. I've had enough of these ads. This is ridiculous. And I have so many more, but I can't just look at these terrible ads forever. I think I'm losing brain cells every second I'm looking at these. So I think I'm just going to end the video here. Okay, so thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below. Which ad compelled you? What you thought? And um, make sure you smash that like button. Follow me on Twitter at Roblox Fave. Subscribe and hit the bell to Fave and Fave too. And yeah, it's your boy Fave, and I am.